While Genesis owners could enjoy the acrobatic blade-slashing action of Strider back in the early 90s, Super Nintendo owners would have had to make do with Run Saber. But hey, before passing this off as a second-rate clone, this obscure side-scroller published by Atlas in 1993 is actually a pretty remarkable game for fans of 16-bit action platformers. So the premise surrounds this mad scientist that said he was going to reverse the effects of pollution that's, you know, that's always troubling Earth. But instead, he unleashed a dangerous mutating chemical upon the population, and he has the intent of ruling the decaying planet with this new mutant army. Mankind's only hope? The Run Sabers, some badass cyborgs with swords. Although one of the three malfunctioned, so you'll occasionally get into battles with him throughout the game. But the other two, Alao and Sewa, are your two selectable characters, each with different kinds of screen-wiping elemental magic. So gameplay and controls are very similar to the arcade or Genesis version of Strider, like I had mentioned, as you can flip around, slash stuff, latch onto walls and ceilings, and you've also got a few other handy maneuvers like flaming jump kicks, power slides, and a very useful jumping ability which is similar to Samus's screw attack. And don't worry, there are tons of weird mutants and robot bug things to take out as you progress through the game's five levels. And these levels stay pretty interesting too, by not sticking to the usual side-scrolling either. An arrow at the top will guide you in whatever direction you need to head next, and the landscapes change around pretty quickly. Compound that with plenty of mini-bosses interspersed throughout, and Run Saber flows along very quickly, and each stage culminates in some pretty intense action sequences and boss fights. And that intensity is also backed up very well with some really awesome music. The sound design's great too, and overall it has a pretty slick graphical style with a lot of Japanese flavor, so the presentation is very solid for its time. Maybe one of the only downers I can find about Run Saber is its length. I mean, it only has five stages. But still, it's fairly challenging, and it will require some practice for complete playthroughs. So whether you're sabering solo or running simultaneous co-op with a buddy, Run Saber is a great way to spend an afternoon if you're in the mood for cutting up some 16-bit mutants. <laughs> 